Let's take a moment and talk about scale factors. Often when we sell a precision GPS receiver to a new customer, they'll use the receiver to measure the distance between two points. They'll call us up and they'll say, you know, this receiver is giving me the wrong answer. Often the comment is, you promised me this receiver would be accurate to a centimeter, but when I measure the distance between two known points, the distance is short by a couple of feet. There's something wrong with my GPS receiver. Well, let me show you an example of what's going on here. I've got a topo map up on the screen. I've put a dot at the northwest corner of section 9 and another dot at the northeast corner of section 9. You can see I've got the state plane coordinates for these actual section corners printed on the map. If we take these state plane coordinates and use Pythagorean theorem to inverse between the two, we'll get a horizontal distance of 5,233.2 feet. If we measure the distance with a total station, so set a total station over here, shoot back over to a total station, um, reflector over here will get 5,236 feet. That's a distance of almost three feet. What's going on? Well, to visualize this, I've made a little drawing. Now imagine we go over to the northwest corner and we drill a one meter diameter hole and we go 10,000 feet down. We'll put a two by four across the top of the hole and we'll hang a steel piano wire with a plumb bob at the bottom. So the steel piano wire starts at the top of the hole and goes all the way to the bottom and points towards the center of the earth. Now let's come over here to the northeast corner. We'll do the same thing. A meter hole, 10,000 feet deep, a two by four with a steel wire and a plumb bob hanging down to the bottom of the hole. The thing to remember is that every single point on these steel wires has the same state plane coordinate. So all of the points that are on this steel wire have this state plane coordinate. And all of the points that are on this steel wire have this state plane coordinate. So when we calculate the distance between the two wires, we're actually calculating the distance down at sea level, an elevation of zero. When we shoot the distance with a total station, we're actually up at 10,000 feet and we get 5236. Now, how are we going to use a GPS receiver to measure distances? Well, the most common method is to calculate a combined scale factor. In this case, it's 0 0.999454. Now, this scale factor will change depending upon your elevation above sea level, and it'll also change based upon your latitude. And the reason it changes with latitude is that the world is not a perfect sphere. It's actually an oblate ellipsoid. So the polar radius is a little bit shorter than the equatorial radius, which means that as you progress from the equator up to the pole, the effective radius of the Earth shortens a little bit. So, we've got variable scale factors that depend on latitude and they depend on elevation above sea level and they also depend upon the projection. Now this projection is Utah Central NAD 83 survey feet. We can come up with a scale factor for any point on the earth and any projection. So here's two section corners shown the top one is out by the Salt Lake Airport. It's an elevation of about 4,200 feet. The scale factor at the airport is 0.999822. Here's the corner up at Alta, 0.99945. So the distance in a mile at Alta is about three feet. The distance at the airport is about one foot. If you're at sea level, the distance will be zero. So the grid and the ground distances, the measured distance between two points for grid and ground, will match exactly. So if you're at a high elevation 
and you're using a precision GPS receiver like the ones that we sell, you need to be worried about a job scale factor. Now, what's my suggestion? Do everything at grid. And then when you're buying pipe or wire or whatever you're going to connect two points with, figure out a reasonable scale factor and apply that scale factor to the entire job when you're buying pipe or whatever you're doing. But if you're at a high elevation, like we are here in Utah, you cannot ignore the effects of grid-to-ground scale factor.